What's up everybody, it's Austin from Make Pop Music and Austin Hall Audio and Visual and we are back with another video and this week we're actually doing something a little bit different. We're not going to be doing a tutorial, however we are going to be doing a product review on the new desk that you see behind me. As a lot of you have probably noticed in a couple of our recent videos and if you follow me on Instagram or on Facebook you've seen, I did recently get a new desk for the studio that I've moved into and I am super excited about it. However, a lot of you had questions on it. Uh, so I wanted to kind of make a video where I fully address the questions, I give you a little bit more details about the desk, tell you some pros and cons, dimensions, uh, and then just give you kind of a closer look at what I'm working with here. So we're going to be talking about a lot in this video, and I do have to say, this desk is by AZ Studio Workstations, they're an amazing company. I actually reached out to them because I was on the look for a studio desk for years. I looked at tons of companies, I either couldn't find something that fit my keyboard below, I couldn't find something that had enough tabletop room, I couldn't find something that had rack space but kind of a big enough work surface. And finally, after years and years of looking and trying different things, I stumbled across AZ Studio Workstations and they had a ton of pre-made designs. So I actually hit them up, not expecting anything for free, not expecting any kind of even coupon code or anything, just to kind of reach out and learn about the company. And I reached Art, who's the owner, and he was gracious enough to actually send me this desk in exchange for a full review. However, I will disclaim this is going to be a completely honest review. Everything is my thoughts because if I'm giving a video to you guys, I think you guys deserve to hear the truth. Let's go ahead and actually start talking about my process getting the desk and then start talking about some of the details about the desk. So as you might know, I've been on the hunt for a perfect studio desk for a couple years now. I've lived in apartments and I've used the Ikea builds. I've used just a giant tabletop and those things were all nice. They were all pretty affordable and I had most of my stuff around me. However, I was never able to have basically my entire studio at my fingertips. And so when I was looking for a desk, it was really important for me to have a keyboard tray underneath where I could put my full Juno DS88. It's a giant 88 key keyboard board and uh, every desk that I kind of looked at online either wasn't going to fit it or it looked like it may barely fit it and I just wasn't able to take that risk. So I wanted something that could hold that. I wanted something that had a few rack units up top because I don't use a lot of analog gear. However, for things like power boxes and all of my extra preamps and stuff like that, I did want that on my desk. That way it's kind of within an arm's reach and I don't have a bunch of cables going everywhere. I also wanted something that had a big tabletop that I could have my keyboard, I could have my mouse, and I could actually have my other MIDI keyboard, which is Synth Action. Uh, it's the M Audio Code 61. So as you can see, I fit everything on this desk pretty easily. I've got just a nice little setup of my actual workstation, keyboard in the corner, and then I've still got all of my rack units available. And I wanted something that had a raised shelf so I wasn't craning my neck down like that because that was the biggest problem with my last desk is I was just always having neck pain from looking down. So this desk actually has a raised shelf that can either fit one computer screen and two speakers or two computer screens and then I actually have my speakers on secondary stands just to help get them uh, kind of acoustically isolated from the desk and just to give me a little bit more tabletop room to have the dual monitor kind of set up. I do just want to kind of let you guys know what the process has been like getting this desk, why I picked AZ Studio workstations to work with, and what you could look for if you're actually looking for a desk either for your home studio or your commercial studio. So when I had all of those predetermined factors in mind, I actually went on their website and they do have a couple different options uh, that we'll kind of put up on the screen here. They do feature the, the keyboard tray for the 88 key keyboard. They do have the kind of raised stands, um, pretty wide tabletops, and as you can see, they're kind of different aesthetically. Uh, also, a big plus about AZ Studio workstations is they do have the option to put sit-stand options on most of their desks. I'm personally not a sit-stand guy, but I know a ton of people are, and it's really, really hard to find a kind of studio desk that's gonna be big enough and can actually have your monitors and all of your stuff on it. So when you raise it and lower it, you're still in an optimal listening position and AZ Studio Workstations does have that option. If that is your speed, which to me was a huge pro, even though it's not something that I personally use, I know a lot of you will definitely enjoy that. And another huge, huge, huge pro about the company is actually when I reached out to Art, he asked if there were any desks that I kind of had my eye on. And I told him a couple that I liked. I told him, you know, things that I liked about them, things that I, you know, might like one over the other for and uh, that's when he actually told me that their company does customized desks so I knew that they did fully customized desks where they'll kind of come up with a blueprint and do something that is like a complete built-in desk however I did not know that they will go ahead and customize any of their pre-made designs to kind of fit your specifications so for my desk we ended up taking the tabletop of one desk we ended up taking the legs of one desk we ended up taking the actual keyboard tray of one desk and we ended up taking the rack units of one desk because this desk is actually really similar and pretty much based off of the Artista Studio work desk which 
It caught my eye immediately. However, I don't love the option of kind of slanted rack units. I wanted a little bit more tabletop space. And so where you see the slants, I kind of get an extra few inches and that's why I can have my MIDI keyboard up there. So that's when I basically told him, hey, I love the Artista. The footprint looks amazing. All of the features look amazing. However, like I'm not looking for slanted rack units. So do you have anything that you would recommend? And he told me immediately they can put straight rack units on that, give me a couple inches extra of tabletop space. And he basically informed me that you can customize any desk that they have. You can kind of customize the color. You can put a wood grain top on it if you want. You can pick different tabletops and different legs. So if you are looking for a desk where your features might be a little bit specific or there is a certain aesthetic that you want to go for, I would definitely hit up AZ Studio Workstations because while they are a little bit higher on the price list, they are still much cheaper than getting a custom desk. And honestly, they're even cheaper than some of the other straight out of the box desks that I had seen on something like Sweetwater or Guitar Center or an area like that. So if you have something that you need super, super specific, whether you can kind of base it off of one of their previous models or you need a customized desk, completely from scratch, AZ Studio Workstations will probably be your best and easiest bet. Probably the most important and eye-opening part of this experience was actually not even the customization of the desk so much as it was just the customer service. When I reached out to Art with a proposition to work together, he was back to me in a couple hours and then basically every day on for probably the next week we talked and he was responding immediately i was kind of telling him what i wanted what i didn't want he was showing me ideas and basically this desk actually came from his mind after hearing everything that i liked and he was just super responsive and really, really easy to work with. I really, really, really appreciate all of the support that they've given us. I appreciate all of the kind of attentive customer service care and just the attention to detail that they've put in all of their products. All right, so we've talked about the actual customization layout of the desk. So I did wanna read you some of the actual final dimensions of what I'm working with so you can measure out your space and see if you've got room for a desk like this. Maybe you can go a little bit bigger. Maybe you can go a little bit smaller. Again, with AZ Studio Workstations, you can kind of make it fit um, no matter what your space has. So let's go ahead and just talk about the footprint. So the actual footprint this desk takes up is 32 inches deep by 61 inches uh, kind of wide. So it's much smaller than the last tabletop I was using, which was just basically an Ikea kitchen table. However, I fit so much more stuff on this because you do have the tiers and everything is ergonomically laid out specifically for a producer. The main tabletop is gonna sit about 31 inches high off the ground. So it is a little high for a tabletop. However, um, I'm short, I'm like five, six. And to me, this is still really no problem to work with. So most of you should be fine. The actual top shelf six 36 inches high, which to me is perfect. It's almost eye level with my screen. So I'm always in an upright position. I'm never craning up or down. So far, my neck has been feeling a lot better since using this. The actual top shelf is 10 inches deep, so it can pretty much fit any kind of speaker or computer monitor that you might wanna put on it. I don't see any issue with the actual depth of that. The tabletop is 19 and a half inches deep, and this to me was the biggest pro. Besides having the keyboard tray underneath, having a tabletop that was wide enough where I could put an actual typing keyboard, my mouse, my giant mouse pad, and still have my MIDI keyboard up there for synth action keys and automation stuff, was huge to me. So having this wide tabletop on top of an actual 88 key keyboard and below your monitor shelf to me makes this desk super ergonomical and it makes this desk have so much more space than the actual footprint takes up. The keyboard tray below can be customized to however big your keyboard is. Art actually asked me exactly what keyboard I had so he can make sure it fit. But my keyboard tray sits seven inches below and while that might seem like it bites into legroom, there is a giant cutout in the middle where you have tons of legroom. I have not hit my knees or my legs one single time and I can pull the keyboard tray completely out just by scooting my desk back a few inches and pulling it out and then I've got everything at my fingertips. So you do have a ton of space and a pretty small and compact footprint with this desk and that was one of the big things for me. I did not want this giant mammoth desk taking up my room. My room's only about 15 feet wide so I didn't want something that was going to be you know kind of spilling over into the corners. So let's talk about my absolute favorite things about this desk and why I really picked this desk over the others and I've kind of mentioned them a little bit in passing but we'll go into a bit more detail. This this desk does have that pull out keyboard tray and it can hold a super heavy and a super thick keyboard, which is pretty uncommon for most of the other desk on the market. I found that they mostly hold like MIDI keyboards. Like they could all hold my M audio totally fine, um, but almost none of them could hold the giant Juno and really any that did look like they were gonna eat into leg space quite a bit. But this one, like I said, has that cutout in the middle where you're still getting tons of leg room. Uh, the desk 
it does sit about seven inches deep, but it puts the keyboard kind of right at your playing position. So it's almost just like having a keyboard stand perfectly under your desk, and then you just kind of roll it out whenever you need, and it doesn't bite into your space. Another major pro is that it does have a cable hole on the tabletop, which makes it really easy to route your cables if you're using a MIDI keyboard on top, or if you have your interface on top, or if you're using a wired keyboard and mouse. To me personally, uh, cable management is one of the biggest most important things i just hate seeing cables and i hate stuff being disorganized and having that on top is really really nice to not have to kind of take stuff all the way to the back and have stuff coming underneath hardware and you don't really have to kink any cables or anything like that you can just run them straight through that hole another pro is having the rack units on top i've never had a desk where i had rack units and i don't have much rack gear however i do have six rack units on this which is plenty of room for my audient asp 800 uh, which is basically giving me just eight more channels on my interface and i can reach it super easily and it does hold a couple different kind of power banks that way anything that is coming from around here doesn't have to end up going to this corner where I have my sidecar. So all of my speakers, my lamps, my monitors, um, my computer, everything like that is actually going behind my desk into those rack mounted power strips. Another thing that is super, super surprising about this desk is the actual build quality. I've felt and used a ton of studio desks that are kind of that laminate MDF material where they feel fine, but they're a little lightweight and you do worry about them kind of holding up. I will say when we got this desk, I was so scared because this clocked in almost at 300 pounds and they delivered it in this giant wooden crate in my driveway and it wasn't fully assembled. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but I was like, this is so heavy. I don't know how we're gonna get this in. Luckily, it came in just a few pieces that my wife and I could really, really easily carry in. However, with that said, this desk is really heavy and it feels super, super solid. There is none of that cheap veneer on it. There's none of that kind of lightweight, just filler wood. Everything feels really, really solid and sturdy and I don't get nervous about putting thousands of dollars worth of gear on top of it, which to me is a huge pro, especially if you're gonna be using really expensive gear or vintage gear that may be hard to replace. The ergonomics of this desk also make this desk prime for me. I love having my keyboard here, I love having a keyboard here, and I love having my kind of just typing interface and mouse right here. So to me, everything is kind of within an arm's reach. I like to basically stay put as I work because more time spent away kind of routing cables and doing stuff like this and you know, pulling a keyboard out, that kind of distracts me. So I really like to be able to just pull everything out, flip on the channel that I need to flip on and have everything ready to go. And this desk has honestly improved my workflow a ton over the past couple weeks. I've been making more music now than ever. I've been using my kind of Juno DS88 more now than ever. I never really used it before because it was over in a corner on a shelf and I would just never get up and go over to it and turn it on and actually play it and route it over. So having this and having everything within that arm's reach to me is an absolute game changer and I think it's something that I didn't fully realize the weight and the benefit of until I actually started using this. And I would say my last major, major pro is just the aesthetic of the desk. It is a really good looking desk. I went with black and then have the walnut top. So I do love how kind of timeless the wood looks on it. And then I love how modern the actual legs look with the slits. To me, this is that perfect mix of having something that looks classic and timeless with just a nice wood tabletop studio desk. And then having something a little bit more modern that you may see in something like an electronic studio or a kind of modern studio where you do have the slanted legs with the cutouts. I didn't want something that was in the more kind of shiny, almost like plastic acrylic looking uh, finish. But if you do, I'm pretty sure they could probably work out that kind of finish for you. I just wanted to go with the black wood and then the actual walnut finish on top. Now let's get to the not so fun part and talk about the actual one con that I did have with the desk. And this is something that can be easily remedied. And honestly, if I would have made a point to kind of say this in the build process, I'm sure Art could have had them customize something on this for me. But that is the cable management on the back. I do wish it kind of had a cable run either underneath the front of the desk or kind of just a tray that hangs off the back where I could run all of my cables from you know this monitor over here to this monitor to my sidecar um, so I will say cable management on the back was lacking just a little bit but again if you let them know that's something that is important to you I'm pretty sure they can probably work something out to where they can incorporate that in the desk with that said I was able to easily remedy that for like ten dollars with these strips that I found on Amazon they're basically just these kind of adhesive strips that you can put on the back or on the front of anything and then I just run my cables through those so I will say it is not the biggest deal that it did not have them however it would have been nice to just have all of that cable management integrated in the desk so I never have to worry about it falling or rerouting stuff but that is my only con so far so out of all the pros with that not a deal breaker for me. All right, so let's talk about the actual assembly and kind of how it came. So as I mentioned before, it did come in a giant wooden crate. 
It was super, super heavy. I had them drop it off in my driveway. I do live in a house, so if you live in an apartment, this might be something to consider. Have an area where they can drop off the crate and you can open up the crate and kind of take everything out piece by piece because it is super big and super heavy. So with that said, I did get a little worried because I'm not great at putting together furniture and this desk was so heavy. I was worried about actually assembling this. I think it came in five pieces if I can remember correctly. And I will say my wife and I got the whole thing put together by just both of us in about 30 or 40 minutes. So to me, for this desk to be this big and this heavy, 30 or 40 minutes is not a lot of work at all. A lot of the stuff already came kind of pre-installed or pre-drilled. So the keyboard tray already had the rails on it. The desk already had the rails on it. Everything was kind of just screw a screw in here, screw a screw in there and make sure everything comes together. And after getting this together, I will say I would rather carry this piece by piece into my studio and assemble it in place rather than this desk come fully assembled and then me figure out how to get this giant 250, 300 pound desk actually in a door, in a studio and in position. So while that may be a con for some, to me it was actually a pro that I didn't know was gonna be a pro until it actually happened. I will say though, if you don't have somebody to help you with the desk, putting this together is going to be extremely difficult. So if you have a friend or a relative or a spouse or anything like that who can just pop in for 40 minutes to help you, it is a pretty easy job with two people. And that's pretty much everything that I wanted to kind of address with this video. Between everything I've said and all of the different B-roll we've showed overlaid, you should have a pretty good kind of view and understanding of the desk that I'm working with. Once again, thank you so much to our AZ Studio Workstations for taking the opportunity to work with me and kind of let me highlight this desk for all of you. I know I've gotten a ton of questions on it. So if you have any further questions about my desk or if you have any further questions about my experience working with the company, definitely let me know in the comments below and I will answer anything. If you do want any more information on this desk, you can go to a blog post that we actually linked in the description below. But that's basically our full review of this desk. Once again, thank you so much to Art for reaching out and thanks for working with us, AZ Studio Workstations. I am in love with this desk and I am looking forward to making a ton of videos and a ton of bangers for all of you guys to check out. Other than that, we'll be back next week with another tutorial. Stay safe, everybody. Much love. Peace out.